what, what the mate is talking about. Yeah. What's up, family? A carjacking suspect who had already been arrested shot three Chicago police officers as they attempted to take him into custody. See, what had happened is on Thursday morning around 9.30 a.m., the guy was being escorted into the Northwest Side Police Station when he opened fire. Gunned down three cops. They returned fire, dropped him. All four were taken to an area hospital. One cop remains in critical condition. Everybody else appears to be all right for now. It's uncertain if the shooter, the suspect, used his own gun or he got the gun from one of the other police officers. I suspect he got the gun from one of the police officers and they're too embarrassed to say so. Now, this is very disturbing, what I'm about to say. In Chicago, for the month of June, there has been 329 homicides. Again, in the month of June in Chicago, there was a reported 329 homicides. Boy, that is a lot of murder. There are many cities in this country that don't get that all year long. Damn. Perfect excuse for Trump to bring in federal agents. Uh, as I speak, I believe that still has not been done. Mayor Lightfoot is saying she don't want military uh, well, she was not really military, but she say those federal agents, uh, they use military grade equipment. So it's like bringing in the military. She don't want to bring in troops into her city because you use troops in combat zones. And we know how it is when America troop up. You know, they come through like a steamroller and take out everything and they don't mind letting you know that, hey, that's collateral damage. You know, yeah, man. Chicago, I know y'all ain't out here doing all that killing by yourself. I'm talking to the blacks in Chicago. I know y'all ain't doing all the killing by yourself, but you are doing some killing. Man, y'all need to fall back, bro. Because if you love anything, I think most of you guys really do love your mother. If, not, if you don't love nobody else, I know you love your mother. And you better fall back because some of y'all mama's going to get caught up in that crossfire. I'm telling you, if you love anything, find something to love. Some of y'all don't love your mama. Maybe you got a daughter you love or something. Maybe you got a girlfriend you love, a grandma. You got to love something. Find somebody. Find some motivation somewhere to fall back, man, and go into survival mode to protect we know the police ain't going to serve and protect, so y'all got to do it yourselves. Serve and protect your neighborhoods, man. How you going to be, consider yourself a man and all about, you really about that, but nobody feels safe in the neighborhood. You're not protecting your neighborhood, not protecting the people, and you don't even feel safe in your own neighborhood. This is one of those situations where it's going to be all hands on deck. Because I'm telling you, when those troops come through, all they needed was that excuse. They're going to say, well, what'd you expect? You know, this is what they're going to do. They're going to use data. They're going to say, well, before the troops came in, there were 30 people a day getting shot. Since the troops came in, there have been no shooting in the last 20 days. Except, of course, all the killing and the shooting we've been done. But hey, other than that, 
they've been chilling. We got it under control. We got them contained. And that's all some of these goody two shoes people out there who think that the people that they're really working for them, that's all they need to hear. Oh, anything, just anything contain them. We don't want them coming over to our neighborhood. We don't want it bleeding into our city, you know. We don't need it happening in our little one horse, one stop sign, red light town. Yeah, we got to seriously self-police. Because you know, man, that ain't nothing but an excuse that they're going to use. They won't. They can't wait to come up in there and start mass killing, mass abusing. And they do a lot of other stuff, too, you know. They do other stuff. Whole lot of other stuff. Similar to what they do when they go overseas and invade, you know, and do a bunch of killing over that, you know. People that, you know, there's a thing called war crimes. And you don't even want to know. I mean, look it up. But some of you got an idea what I'm talking about, some of the things they'll do. Come on, Shy. I'm pulling for you. I mean, I'm pulling for you. Come on, Shy. I'm like a, like a crap game. <laughs> Come on, Shy. I'm pulling for you, baby. Let's do it. No, you can do it. I know too many people that live in the shy that are good people. Good, hard-working, honest people with integrity. I know too many honorable people who live in Chicago. I know you got it in you to turn things around. And I know there's a whole lot of outside forces that's trying to keep it going because they benefit from keeping it going. I get that. But we got to make sure that we don't do anything to aid them. You dig what I'm saying? Come on, Shy. Let's get it together. No more talk. What the talking about?